Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. I've got some chit chat for you. I wanted to talk to you about the my experience with the taste wig from Ellen Villa that I reviewed last week. I've been wearing it every day, about 10 hours a day. And so I've worn it since I first received it. I've, I've worn it about 70 hours. And I thought I would give you an update on how it's held up after 70 hours of wear, one wash, and um, yeah, let's see how it went. Right now I'm wearing Advance from Ellen Villa from the Prime Power Collection. This one was provided to me from Wig Studio One so I could review it, but I did purchase Taste myself at Wig Studio One. Let's first talk a little bit about the products that I use. I only use products that are meant for wigs. That's just my personal choice. I know some use regular shampoos, some use argan oil shampoos, some use Woolite. I don't use any of that of those products. I'm not saying there's anything wrong. I'm just saying that's just my preference to use products specially created for wigs. So for my regular synthetic uh, wigs, I use the Aesthetica brand or the Hair You Wear um, uh, brands for my regular synthetics, for my HD fibers. But for my human hair HD blends, as we find on Advance and on Taste, I use what is recommended from the manufacturer. And that is the Beauty Mark um, the Beauty Mark products. I also purchased these at Wig Studio One. You can get, uh, well, here are some products that I use, and I'll show you in the video that I'm going to insert in just a moment. I use the hydrating shampoo. Now, these products are meant for human hair wigs. However, Ellen Villa recommends these same products for the wigs that are a blend of human hair and HD fibers. The ratio on these wigs is 60% HD fibers, 40% uh, Remy Human Hair. I use the, I followed it with the intensive uh, conditioner, and once I rinsed the conditioner out, I sprayed the wig down with the 3 in 1 Miracle product. I am going to link below a short two or three minute video from Ellen Villa where it shows you step by step and I did exactly how I watched the video when I first purchased these wigs and I followed it step by step exactly how they said it. All right, let's go to my bathroom so you could see taste after it, it just dried. I washed it yesterday with the hydrating shampoo from Beauty Mark. I used this conditioner from Beauty Mark it's the intensive recovery. This is the one for human hair and so is the shampoo. Once I rinsed out the conditioner, then I added the three in one fragile protect. I haven't done anything to this wig. I mean, it's been drying overnight. The fibers feel nice and soft. As you can see, it didn't dry up um, frizzy. It's just very, very soft. So once I put it on, We'll see how it looks. I'll run the comb through it, but right now all I can see is that it's soft and the fibers are separating nicely. So let's go so I can put it on and show you what it looks like. As you saw in the video, it, it was, um, the, the fibers are really soft. Well, I told you they were soft. You can't see that they're soft, but they are, trust me, they're very soft. When I first purchased uh, Taste, I recorded the video and you probably noticed that there were flips on the ends. That same day after I finished recording it, I wanted to show you what it looked like right out of the box. I went ahead and I straightened it just because my preference on me is for this length to be straight. I will probably keep advanced the way it, it came out of the box with these soft waves at the bottom, but on taste, I prefer it straight. So I straightened it. I've worn it probably 70 hours, maybe a little bit more. And then I, after wearing it all of that time, I thought it was time to wear to wash it. 
so I did. I haven't run the comb through it yet, but with a human hair wig, when it's washed, it's going to dry either wavy or it might have some frizz in it. With my experience with human hair wigs is that you have to style it after every wash. The difference here is that you do not, it doesn't require styling after every wash unless you want it, unless you want to restyle it. So if you add curls, if I would have had curls here, I would have washed it and it would have been with the curls. Pretty much the same as what we find with HD fibers. I straightened it and it dried straight. There are no waves here. There is no frizz. It's, I'm running the comb through it and it's perfect. I don't have to add anything to it. I don't even have to add heat to this right now. Um, so let me, let me put it on and uh, we'll see what it looks like on. But it's, you could, tr there's no tangles anywhere. There's no frizz anywhere. perfect after the wash. If I wanted to add some of the three in one conditioner, uh, three in one miracle protect, I can do that. If I wanted to add some heat, I want to add some curls. I can certainly do that as well. It is perfect. I'm going to continue wearing Taste for the rest of the month. For I'm going to wear it for another three weeks, and then I'll come back and we'll take a look on how it looks after one month of daily wear, 10 hours each day. Something I need to mention about these, these wigs, and I, I didn't mention it when I reviewed Advance, and I didn't mention it when I reviewed Taste, but I'm going to mention it now. These wigs are definitely a much high, have a much higher price point than we find on HD fibers or regular synthetics, and it they are a bit less than we have on on a hundred percent Remy human hair. If we get a Remy human hair that is high quality, we could end up spending anywhere I don't know three thousand dollars for or or more than that depending on the quality of the wig. With that said, I feel these fibers or this, this line from Ellen Villa with the uh, blend of human hair and HD fibers, I feel that if someone likes to wear the same style every day and you don't want to deviate with your style or color, I think these wigs are perfect. Yes, they are an investment, but we're looking, according to Ellen Villa, that they are going to last a year or more with the proper care. Therefore, you're not going to have to be investing that three or $400 every three months or however long your synthetics may last. If you are someone who likes to change your style and color every day, you may not want to consider a, a wig like this because you're going to say, well, it doesn't matter. My, I have my wigs in rotation. I can wear a different style and different color every day. And my wigs are going to last a year because I'm, I'm not wearing it every single day. I'm wearing it maybe once a month or twice a month or whatever, however many you have and however many you have in your rotation. But I know that from the Facebook group, we have many members that say they do not want to change. They don't want to vary from their style. They don't want to vary from the color. They want to keep it as consistent as possible. So it is to those of you that I am speaking to. If you want, if you do not want to deviate from your style, you don't want to deviate from your color. You don't want to spend four or five thousand dollars on a wig. This may be one for you to consider because you can treat it as you would a human hair wig. You can curl it, you can straighten it, you can blow dry it. 
you're not going to have any issues with it. You're not going to pay the exuberant price point and you have a piece that is going to last with everyday wear. It really depends on each individual wearer. What works for you? What is your budget? What is it that you're looking for? Are you someone that wears different colors and styles every day? Or are you someone that doesn't want to deviate from your style and from your color with a small exception? Of course, there's always the HD fibers. The problem is that if you wear an HD fiber wig every single day for 10 hours a day after two months or three months, it might start showing signs of deterioration. It's not going to have the longevity that you have with a blend like this. It's just something for you to think about. I, I wanted to share that with you because I did have a lot of questions. Well, why spend the money on that? It uh, Again, it's just a matter of preference and everybody else's budget, everybody's different budget, what we spend our money on and what we consider are worth it. However, I feel that they are a great investment, especially if you just want to be consistent with your wig. Let me know down in the comments what you think. What is, do you prefer to wear a wig, a different style and color every day, or do you prefer consistency? I'll be back next week after two weeks of wear. So that'll be after 140 hours of wear. Once I do it with taste, I'm going to do the same thing with the much longer advance and we'll see how that one wears because that one is a lot longer. Thank you everyone. I appreciate you spending this time with me. I hope that everyone is having a fantastic day and I will see you next time. Bye.